What is up, you guys? And of course, welcome to our Week 11 match, actually, against China Sofian or the Cincinnati Sylvians or Bailey. Wow, we have a lot of names to cover. But yeah, looking to her team here, wow. She brought almost what I thought she would. Um, the only things she didn't bring, which I thought was given, was Verisian and Snorlax. They're not a part of that, but everything else falls apart, yes. Um, I haven't done any video of, of course, the team analysis, so I'm gonna go over the team a bit longer instead. Uh, I have a Scar of Thunders again. Yeah. The thing is, I needed that. Uh, I needed for Tornadoes and the Starmie to be able to come in on them and switch out, because she is fairly weak to electric mods. Uh, her only mods that could stand the test is, of course, Landorus, which obviously is on her team, and Ampharos. They are the ones who can take it, the rest kinda stumbles with it. Which means I need to guarantee it out speed. Dewblade is there for Snorlax Verisian, which is <laughs> not a part of this game. God freaking damn it. So it's pretty much wasted. Can Oko star me? That's about it. Uh, Stoutland of defensive nature being adamant with max HP, 96 in attack, and 160, I do believe, in defense. Uh, with leftovers is enough actually to um, be 5 hit KO by Jolly Landers and 4 hit KO by an adamant landers if it is scarf which she must have in this game uh, then we have offensive scissor with enough speed investment to outspeed crocune and heatron uh, rose raid with the uh, toxic spikes basically if she was gonna bring snorlax then that was the point of rose raid rose raid also occurs her clefable which is not a part of this game either so yeah I, you know she had a pretty potent team so rose raid seems to fit the bill but with this, this team, it's not gonna do all that much. Uh, and Keldeo is there for Sukun and um, yeah, Heatran too. Keldeo walls these guys, even if her Heatran is um, is somewhat offensive, I can still take on its stabs and substitutes. It's a substitute call mine with Skull's Secret Sword. Uh, so the only team this or only thing this team struggle with is actually um, Tornadoes. But Tornadoes fall to a Sword Stance Bullet Punch, and it falls also to Volt Switch. If it is Assault Vested, then that is a 2-hit KO. Also, if it is Assault Vest, um, Skull should don't, shouldn't do more than 25%, and of course, Tornado is going to be the number one switching for Keldeo throughout this game, without a doubt, really. And basically, I need to have my predictions game right. I never play with like a lot of stamina in my team, but this time I was really forced to, because last time I actually faced Sophie, uh, she brought a middle ground team which was very very oriented in tankiness and I know she's gonna play the same game and this time I actually need to be prepared for it and Landorus and Tornadoes does break apart my team so I need to fend them off properly the rest I can deal with quite effortlessly I should say also that I have U-turn and Sword Stance on my Scissor and not Superpower which means that Heatron walls my um, Scissor but at the same time I have a lot of mods that can deal with Heatran quite properly for this match, so I'm not too worried. So with all that said, let's go into this game. So yeah, from the get-go, she's gonna start with uh, her Landorus, which was incredibly important, because of course I started with Thunderous, and the thing is here, since I am faster in coming out, she knows I'm faster of course also. I will go for the Hidden Power Eyes anyway, because, well, I really need to do that, don't I? So, Hidden Power Ice will do just about no nope on the Heatron. And like I said, I have Keldeo for a switch in. So, it's not bad. It's not bad by any means. But at the same time, probably should have Volt switched there. Probably should have done that, predicting that. But, you know, it's too early to predict the tougher calls. So, it goes for Fire Blast. That does a lot of damage, which tells me that's definitely offensive. But at the same time, she can't break my sub. And she can't miss Fire Blast. So, knowing that, I'll actually go for a substitute here. Oh, I do not. I go for a skull first time. Of course I do. My bad. Um, I didn't. Why did I do that? Anyway, uh, that skull shows me that she's a soul vest, which means that my thunders can't kill it. But, the, the main perk here is, while that's true, that also means that she doesn't necessarily can't touch my, my thunders that well either. Uh, so he goes to Fabio, and that's quite alright, that means that she's gonna get the Mega Evolution up. And, um, I could've gone for Hidden Power Ice, scouting the damage, but I'm pretty sure this one is defensive no matter what. So I'm gonna go to my Papaya Berry, actually, Rose Raid. I was juggling uh, to actually have um, Assault Vest and Giga Drain, but I ended up with Papaya Berry 
and the Toxic Spike, which in Afterthought was kind of a waste considering the team she brought. I do not die by Dragon Pulse, I don't really have to worry about it, but I can take another one. Now she will switch out and go to Ringo, probably predicting spikes or anything like that. I went directly for Sludge Bomb, should probably gone for Leaf Storm. Uh, I can't outspeed the Stormy, uh, even if it is uh, offensive, because I'm modest and just about speed enough to outspeed Sukune. So I predict the Side Shock, uh, really nicely actually, and I get a very safe switch in here. And now I predict her to actually bring her Landorus, so I'm gonna bring my ultimate defensive Stealthland. And basically take this opportunity to get something Thunder Wave, because like I said, even if she stays in against my Stoutland, she's at best for a 5 hit KO, and whether or not she's gonna risk that, it's up to her, but I think she predicted me to go for an Ice Fang here, she gotta switch out, go to Suicune, which is probably the Pokemon that does suffer the least for this kind of situation, and at the same time, having this Paralyzed might be helpful, depending on what's happened. Uh, but yeah, this means that I am forced now to of course bring Keldeo and uh, as long as I don't get burned in this matchup I should be able to force out Suicune quite effortlessly and she gets fully paralyzed and uh, that of course is great because that means that we can go for a sub here actually freely because the thing is if she is rest talk here with the Calm Mine and stuff like that that means that we actually wall her and can win the Calm Mine Wars and if I get 3 Calm Mines up, then Hurricane doesn't break my sub either. Uh, but she'll go of course for not Falco, goes for Hurricane, does land it, and uh, I go for a Scald, and uh, let's just say this, still no burning sight, and I really regret not to have Ice to win this game, uh, being that the Sukune actually is somewhat forced out naturally by my Keldeo, I should probably have thought about that before going into this match. So I'm gonna bring back Arclass, and here comes the Hurricane, lands it again actually, and while it doesn't do a lot of damage, she does get the confusion. And I have a tough call there either. I go for the Hidden Power Eyes predicting Landorus or her Meganfros, or I switch out. I decided to you know, risk it and go for, of course, the Hidden Power Ice. I do land it, and like I said here, if she is defensive, that means she is well within the area of a 2-hit KO. But since I am confused, I can't stay in. That also means I have to sack something, because like I said, I can't sack my Thunderous. Thunderous is far more important, and she goes for agility. And that's really bad, so I'm gonna go for Shadow Sneak, just get as much damage as possible. And I do get in that sweet spot area where Bullet Punch is actually a 85% chance of killing her from that range. Uh, she's in the 50% area, which means that I shouldn't really need to worry about this. Bullet Punch is definitely gonna take her out here. So, you know, I felt great. I was like, until this point, I felt like, yeah, I have the momentum, I have everything, I'm doing everything right. Then... Perfect. Of course, I got a freaking low roll. I do survive that Thunderbolt, um, obviously, but yeah, that was definitely not supposed to happen. And that is extremely frustrating, because with damage on my scissor, I basically is forced here to either go for a bullet punch sacking it or try to roost up. But I'm gonna decide to sack Daros and he goes or she goes of course for Heat Wave and that's Daros out of the way. So Rose Ray didn't really do a whole lot this game but at the same time the monster that, that was gonna supposed to fend off was really not a point of this game. Now here I have to make a really really tough call and uh, I'll actually go for Volt Switch here. Uh, should probably have gone for superpower, but I do I get some nice damage there But it's definitely not enough and it's quite frustrating. So I go to self just getting some leftovers going and uh, I should have seen this one coming. I definitely should have seen her going out to her star me and uh, I did not do that and I think that was a tough call for me to do because not only do I go for substitutes um, I also know that she dies to two leftovers, and I am well within the area of actually stalling out uh, so she dies by life orb. I don't make that call, I try to preserve my HP, but that also means, and I can't stress this enough, that also means that her tornadoes can come in freely again, so not the best series of play there, and somewhat frustrating actually, I hoped I didn't was forced to do stuff like this. Because, like I said, the Tornadoes was a big threat for my team, and I'm basically letting it get into me. And it's healthy, of course, because of the Regenerator. So I go back to our class, seeing the Hurricane coming, I can definitely take another one. But that's about it. Like, now I am in that sweet area where it's no fun anymore. So, she'll switch out, that's quite right. I actually predicted her here to go for Lando, or I had to make that call. I was basically pinned down here. 
So I do get Landris out of the way. And that's awesome, because that means that I can, in theory, actually sag off my Stelton at this point, because it served well until this point, actually. Uh, but anyway, the Tornadoes come back. Like I said, I need to be speedy still, so I'm gonna go to Stoutland. And um, if I remember correctly here, she goes for Heat Wave instead of a Hurricane. And we take that well. Like, we take that really well. That's a crit, and we, like, still are living. And at this point, I can freely go for Thunder Wave if I decide to. But at the same time, she has to suit you. And that's gonna be a Mon I can't really defend against. I need to have the right Mon versus it. Uh, so here comes Step, I do believe I go straight on for Return, just wanna see how much it does, and I say that just, just about nope. And there is no way I can win this matchup uh, whatsoever, and uh, she can freely set up Calm Minds if you so desire. And knowing that, I decide to go for a Roar, predicting <laughs> her Calm Mind. And you know, while that is great, it still means I really can't do anything to her Sukune. Uh, I need the right matchup, so Heatran is not a big deal, Tornadoes, not a big deal, but like I said, I really can't do anything to them. Now, here I am in that sweet spot where I can't leave a Fire Blast, and I'm gonna go for Superpower, hoping she goes for that move. She does not, she so go back to Step, and yeah, I mean, like I said, I really can't do anything here, and since I showed Roar, I am pretty sure she's gonna scold me from here on out, so I can just go to Keldeo, and um, basically just hope that I don't get burned. As long as I don't get burned, I win the matchup versus Heatran and uh, uh, Heatran and Sukune. I don't really have to worry about them specifically enough. So like I said, gonna go to of course Selfius. And um, <sighs> the thing is here, like in retrospect, I don't know why I did this because of course she gets the burn. Like I've I've only gone for two skulls, get no burns on of course her tornadoes, but she gets the burn on the first first skull. <laughs> And yeah, that's um, that really stinks. Um, should have had something like Lumberry or um, or Rest or anything to kind of contradict this. Um, the Secret Sword still does like a lot of damage, but of course not enough. And at this point, I am just ah uh, like if I have a good call, then you know here is the point to make it. Now here's the thing: she showed me Ice Beam, she showed me Scald and Call Mine. She could potentially have Rest, and that's generally scary because that means I still need to keep forces down hoping she gets fully paralyzed or anything really um, luckily for me she keeps attacking which probably tells me more that she probably doesn't have wrists which could be very likely but at the same time I have no idea if but anyway she is now in a U-turn area basically where U-turn will kill her U-turn does roughly 25% could, could do a bit less but you know he's not in that dangerous kind of thingy so I'm gonna go for Theta Max, just gonna go for U-Turn. And um, the rolls just doesn't help me this game. It just <laughs> it is my enemy, if anything. So I go into R-Class, hoping she goes for Call Mind. Um, because Stoutland, like I said, can't do anything and I don't wanna risk a burn on it, at least not yet. And luckily for me, she like I said, she goes for the Call Mind, which is extremely helpful. Uh, so I just go for Volt Switch, that's definitely gonna kill her, and she doesn't have enough switching for it either. And uh, I'm just gonna bring Stoutland, like anything that comes in right now will be paralyzed because she doesn't have anything that can kill Stoutland at this point. Uh, Super Power from Tornadoes do not kill us, uh, Fire Blast from um, Heatran does not kill us, so we, we are in a good spot still. And uh, I only need something, and she's gonna bring Falco. Goes for Hurricane, it does a lot of damage, but like I said, it won't kill us, and I get my Thunder Wave off. And here I was thinking, oh yeah, we got this. We got this. Um, I should definitely have this back. All I need now is some prior damage on Tornadoes, and then I can wrap things up. But she will switch out, and that, my people, is really, really unfortunate, because while I do go for Return, and it does a shitload of damage, I should have gone for a second Thunder Wave, just taking a gamble here because what this basically means is that I am forced now to go to my Tornadoes and go for a superpower and basically hope that her um, um, sorry that uh, her Tornadoes is fully paralyzed at least one turn I only need one para to win I only need one para and I win this game because like I said bullet punch does hit 50% volt switch will hit 50% since we know it is assault vest uh, so I'm gonna bring Scissor, seeing that that's probably my better call here. I only need, like I said, one para. She goes for Heat Wave, that of course will destroy Scissor. And it comes down to whether or not she's fully paralyzed next turn versus the Tornadoes. 
or my thunderous. And well, we go for the Vol Switch, it does exactly as I calced, but she doesn't get fully paralyzed even once. And sadly, that is how we lose the game 1 0. And what a match, people! What a match! So, yeah, I mean, here comes Afterthoughts. I mean, like I said, this match was actually really incredible. Like, I'm it was a long time since I had a game like this and it was really entertaining and I do believe we both get of course our best kind of initial thoughts and prior damage on here and I think everything works apart like I said yes we lose and it's really unfortunate because we are now in that spot where it's highly unlikely sadly that we actually gone into playoff but Sophie is finished for playoff due to this win and yeah like I said it sucks but if I had a game like this, then you know it's quite alright. Uh, like I said, a few things didn't go my way. I have two rolls in my disadvantage, and of course, the Skullburn didn't help. No fully paralyzation on the Tornadoes, and she lands, I do believe, four Hurricanes without a miss. So it definitely felt like I was in a small disadvantage here, but at the same time, that's the game. Like, honestly, there, there is nothing to it. I think my design on Stealthland did exactly what it was supposed to do. I do think that um, my funders did exactly what I hoped it would do, and same thing went for almost sister. Like I said, the bullet punch against Ampharos, extremely frustrating, but in the end it might not have matter as much. Um, Keldeo burn, yeah, that, that thing probably sucked the most, because I do realize that losing Keldeo to um, a chance like that is um, extremely unfortunate in general. I would have been much better off sacking off Cicero at that point. Because, like I said, Kelly just wore the <laughs> well, the, the other two quite efficiently. But you know, that's that's the afterthought. Like, I, there were a lot of things I could have done. The dad goes to Sophie too. I mean, this was a predictions game through and through, and I think overall that we both played extremely even. And I think the result kind of speaks for itself. A one zero in this kind of fashion is extremely welcome, and I was so glad to have this game with her because last time we battled. It was really just as interesting, so I can definitely expect her to bring her very best. So, I'm, I am a bit sad that I don't make playoff. Like I said, I have... It's not decided yet, but like I said, if... If the game that decides it um, turns into that person's favor, then we are looking to basically game a chance. I do believe the seven spots, or the, the five spots for playoff are already decided. There are only one spot left for number six, and... Um, I'm gonna do my best to get it. But uh, it's it's not in my hand. It's really not. It's up to uh, Shadow Shoe, uh, which is the player that we're actually competing against, to pull that off. But if he screws up his round against Todd Asher, then uh, I have a big chance of making it. But yeah, I mean, I can't I can't say any, anything more right now. I really just have to hope for the best. And in all honesty, uh, to Sophie, thank you so much for this battle. I thought it was awesome. Like. This game, like, I really try my best, and I think it came down so close, and it turned out so epic that, god damn it, like, I, I can't be mad. This is a this is a loss that felt like a really extremely good game, and yeah, that is really all I asked for. So, Sophie, thank you so much for this battle, and I hope to battle you soon again, and I hope to make playoffs so we can battle and try to even the field yet again. Uh, and also for everybody who's watching, thank you for doing just that. Um, I of course hope to um, that our last game against uh, actually Marcus or Swaglet uh, is gonna get his fair amount of <laughs> chance against me. We'll see. I'm gonna do my very best to make sure that he has a bad time. So Marcus, if you've seen this video, I'm coming for you. <laughs> but anyway guys, I want to thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy this game as much as I do. Don't forget to leave a like if you like this game and if you didn't like it, make sure to leave a like anyway because, well, boobs. No. <laughs> Honestly, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, take care. Bye.